Okay, I'm going to show you some of what I was working on over this last week logistics wise for the unit. Um, I was trying to see how much I could fit inside 55 gallon drum here. This type, I know Sportsman's Guide was selling it. It's a food grade barrel. They do smell like uh, pickled peppers and that stuff. Just air them out. That's about all you can do. They're always going to smell. Things I'm going to point out on this, when the barrel shows up, make sure there's no holes. Get a look at it. You know, if you see light coming in through somewhere, you got a hole, you're going to have to figure out how to plug somehow. Probably see if you can somehow fuse the material together, heat up a piece of metal or something like the side of a knife and just move back and forth to try to get the plastic to reseal itself good. This particular lid on this one, two-piece lid, something I want to point out that you should look for check out your gaskets make sure that the gasket is good make sure that it's there if you have a barrel that does not have a gasket you're gonna to have to cover it with plastic and make sure that the plastic is right up against the barrel so water is not going to be able to seep through easily now I'm trying to figure out how to access this barrel easily during winter time. I'm thinking about making a uh, square wooden frame to put around the top here so that this is not going to be in the dirt and get frozen down. So we'll have this square frame going over here, the boards going across to keep dirt from falling inside, and then some black plastic or something over the top to try to keep dirt and ice and stuff from working its way in hopefully uh, the thought is behind it ground is frozen we got to get at the barrel well we're going to be going at it with e-tools and who knows maybe uh, picks well we don't want to puncture the barrel and damage the stuff inside we're going to want to reuse this barrel sooner or later so i figure wooden frame over the top some boards that we can take off you know, if we got to pound on stuff to get down to the boards, so be it. The only damage will be to the boards, not to the barrel itself. Make sure there's enough clearance around the outside of the ring here that we'll still be able to get in, turn it easily to take it off and put it back on. Now I'll show you some of the stuff I was able to put inside. Now, first off, what I was able to get in there, 96 pounds of white rice. Do not get brown rice. It has a shorter shelf life. Go with white rice. You never know when you're going to use this uh, cache. The cache that I set up here is for food, bulk fe feeding for the unit. So 96 pounds white rice. 96 pounds of beans now i should mention just like with the rice inside here is two two pound bags each two pound bag is inside its own ziploc bag and then it's in two of them together inside another gallon freezer bag i use the ones that are double zipper increase the uh, protection on it i know some units do three Ziploc bags, but with the stuff I got in here, I went through almost 200 Ziploc bags as is. <clears throat> Try to keep the stuff separated so I have pinto beans with pinto beans, northern beans with northern, you know, split peas with split peas, lentils with blunt lentils. So, and uh, all the stuff will be inventoried. Now I got some utensils here for a cook set. I got here a baking grate which will work as a grill. Pair of tongs, one kitchen knife, two prong fork, spatula, serving spoon, and ladle. All of this stuff is from garage sales. Get it cheap. Now we're also putting in here spices. Two pounds of plain salt, two pounds of iodized salt. I have a large container of garlic powder. We also have some other spices here, a thing of black pepper, a thing of chili powder, some crushed red pepper, some cayenne pepper. You know, the spices you put in is up to you. It's kind of uh, thinking ahead of 
what can you do with what's inside here? You know, lots of beans, we can do some chili. So then the stuff that's with it can go with making a chili, but obviously you can use those spices to produce other dishes. Throwing in there, in case this turns into an emergency thing, people lose all their gear, they get chased away, and they have to go get this as an emergency thing. Four mess kits with utensils, four canteen cups, and then I'm putting inside one of these here, a uh, box of, large box of wooden matches. Also including in here, vacuum sealed or vacuum packed, two big packs of uh, dish soap. This is for dishwasher. It's vacuum packed inside quart sized bags and then put inside gallon Ziploc bags. That way try to keep the stuff dry. Now, also included in here, which will be more near the top, 48 packs of beef ramen noodles, 48 packs of chicken ramen noodles, so 96 total. One complete four person camping cook set. And then inside it is this stuff minus the gloves. One sponge, which has the scratch pad on back, one washcloth, scrub brush, green scratch pad, a dish towel, a set of measuring spoons. These are a cheap set that I came across somewhere. I picked up a few of them. Basic can opener. One of the cups from the cook set that is gradiated. You can use it as a measuring cup. Also fit in there. A uh, fire starter here. Also, a little bit of room left over to put in. A one pound bag of split peas just for something else. You know, if you got empty space and something like this, put in a pack of something. I have in the past put in packs of uh, freeze dried veggies, like packs of corn or fire roasted veggies, snuck them inside. Uh, cook sets to try to fill them out, you know, don't waste the space. Also putting in there one thermos set. And like I said, one set, a brand new set of NBC gloves for use for while uh, cleaning this stuff up. I do not have any type of water filter in here, mainly because I don't have one. If I did, I'd put it in a bag included in here with it. But this is, you know, I can fit all of this inside that barrel easily. There's enough stuff here that if needed, say a fire team, without any gear at all, will have enough food to last them a few months and enough gear that they can prepare their food and they can clean up their stuff afterwards. This is just a food cache, okay? Other ones that can be done, you can do medical, you can do uh, ones that are combined ammunition and weapons cleaning, or you can do catch-alls that have everything. A lesson learned in experimenting with the uh, larger cache barrels in the past, fill every available space as much weight as possible because at the end of winter, snow melts, the groundwater rises, if there's not much weight inside the barrel or over the top of the barrel, it'll pop right up out of the ground and you'll see it sitting there. That happened to a few that we tested a few years ago. Those got pulled, relocated, and you know we'll see at what happens at that point. But also a general note on caches, especially barrels, put your heavier stuff towards the bottom so the heavier stuff in this is going to be the beans and the rice that'll be the bottom and then the very top will be the lighter stuff like some of the utensils and the ramen noodles and the spices there will be included inside each cache i highly recommend this a packing list of what is in there exactly you have so many pounds of pinto beans so many pounds split peas so many pounds lentils so many pounds northern beans so many pounds rice so many packs of this type of ramen, so many packs of that, 
you know, get it all listed on there. And then on the back side of the sheet, do a load plan. Do a drawing of the barrel and then put in there where everything is in there. At least as a major pack. You know, the cook set, you're not going to label each individual thing in there. But you'll have it listed on there that the cook set is in this location in the barrel. The utensil set, that's all put together. You know, a utensil set, you know, on the, on the sheet will be located in this location. Important things I would make no, note of where it's at, like the matches and the fire starter set. Those would be uh, important for survival. You really need to know where those are at, also inside the barrel. Take your uh, packing list with the load plan drawing on the back, put it inside a document protector, and then try to waterproof it. Put it inside, say, another Ziploc bag on the very top of the contents inside the barrel. So hopefully this gives you somewhat of an idea, some things to think about. How you pack them is how you pack them. You know, this is just something I threw together this week. I'm going to try getting it out sometime this weekend if the weather cooperates. Now, for all my engineer brothers and the Patriot Militia movements, always remember, essay ons.